بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر احمد نمان فرام اٹک کیمپس آف یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن اینڈ دس از آور فورتھ لیکچر ان دا سیریز آف لیکچر ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ٹیکسٹائل انڈسٹری اینڈ ان دس از آلسو دا لاسٹ لیکچر آف دس سیریز اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ دا processing of textile uh, products and the uh, all the process which is uh, which are involved in the uh, manufacturing of the fabric materials in the textile industry after uh, discussing uh, the fabrication of uh, different textile products we will briefly overview some of the applications of the major textile products in this lecture so let's uh, proceed with this lecture We'll move towards the processing of textile products that how they are processed we already uh, discuss about the types of uh, manufacturing of uh, different fabrics and now uh, it's time to discuss about the processing how it is actually processed so processing of textiles uh, product uh, include many different steps so here is the flow chart of those steps and then we will discuss all of them in the coming slides So these processes actually first The first process is the decising process in which uh the remover of the size material uh, is carried out from the uh, yarns after the textile is uh, fabric is woven <coughs> so it depends on the size uh, what size has been used to the so the second step in in after the decising is the scouring uh, process it is a process in which chemical washing is carried out on uh, cotton fabrics to remove any natural wax or non fibrous impurities which can be the remains of seed fragments or other vegetable matter from the cotton and there can be some other uh, environmental contaminants also present on the fabric for example there can be some dirt or some soil material so in this process all the contaminants or the dirt and those kind of things are after uh, washing with uh, the <coughs> alkali to remove any dirt which is present on the surface the next process is to bleach the cotton uh, product and uh, the bleaching process actually improves the whiteness of the material and by removing some natural coloration and some impurities which impart color to the cotton fabrics
and after the bleaching process next is the process of mercerizing uh, <coughs> mercerizing process is actually carried out to give some glow or shine to the uh, fabric so in this uh, process the fabric is mostly treated with the caustic soda solution and which results in this uh, normally the swelling of the fiber and this uh, mercerizing pr uh, process results in the improved luster or glow or the shine of the fiber it also gives the better strength to the fiber in any the next process uh, during the processing of textile product is the singeing process the singeing uh, in singeing process it <coughs> it is a, a process which is applied to both uh, yarns and also the fabrics alike and the purpose of uh, using the singeing process is to produce an even surface or smooth surface of the fabric this process is carried out by burning of the uh, projected uh, surface fiber so in this process the fibers which are uh, protruded out on the surface are actually burned off to get a good even and smooth surface and to uh, carry out this process the fabric is uh, passed over some brushes to raise the fibers and after those fibers are raised from the surface of the fiber then that uh, fiber fabric is actually passed over some plates which are heated with some by some gas flames so that uh, that uh, heated plates uh, actually uh, uh, cause the burning of the fiber which are raised on the fabric surface so in this way we get a smooth and even surface of the fabric and the second uh, process which is related with this one is the raising in which uh, as you can see in the diagram there are some kind of uh, uh, brushes or rollers with small teeth are actually used on the surface of the fabric so they lift some uh, some of the fibers which are uh, uh, present on the surface of the fabric so uh, then uh, that singeing process is carried out uh, to uh, burn or uh, remove those the fiber rose fiber from the surface to get a smooth surface so uh, the this process of singeing and raising actually uh, remove the hairiness of the or uh, the surface fiber from the uh, fabric and result in the softness or warmth and in some cases there are some uh, hairiness is required actually on some fi fiber so that raising process can also be used to produce that kind of fabric surface with some hairy nice structure on the surface <coughs> Okay, so next uh, we will discuss about two processes which are calendaring and uh, shrinking. So calendaring is the finishing process which is used to make smooth surface, to coat something or make a material thinner. So to, uh, so to do these uh, things, uh, a fabric is passed between some we call calendar rolls and they which use very high temperature and pressures and by controlling the temperature and p p pressure we can get our desired thickness or thinness of a material and we get the uh, kind of smooth surface uh, we, we want <coughs> and that can be actually and is actually controlled by uh, manipulating the temperature and pressure used in those rollers and next very important uh, thing is shrinking actually uh, many of many of the people who use cotton uh, cloth or fabric they know that uh, often when we wash the cloth for the mm, uh, first time especially so it it get it do shrink sometimes and actually not sometimes often it shrinks so uh, the sh uh, shrinking in uh, the fabrics is uh, mostly a very important parameters uh, because it uh, if uh, it uh, shrink in un undimensionally I mean in some dimension it shrink less in some dimension it it shrink more and and after you wear a cloth for one time and then you wash it and then it will shrink in a multiple way and then definitely it will deform your garments and you cannot use it anymore 
so uh, shrinkage in fabric is a kind of a parameter which is used to test textile materials or textile fabrics that how much a change in length and width occurred after the washing of that fabric so and the shrinkage failing materials are uh, mostly dimensionally unstable and they can cause uh, as we discussed that the deforming of the garments made of those uh, materials so the materials which pass this those tests in which they they have the same uh, shrinkage in both length length and width so they uh, they can be passed out uh, from the fabric uh, manufacturing process or uh, in a material in which this is uh, the shrinkage is not uh, dimensional then those materials cannot be used for the manufacturing of some garments because they will uh, deform later after washing and then they will look bad and they cannot people cannot use that so the final step in the fabric manufacturing is normally the dyeing or printing of the fabric so uh, if you see uh, around you even your house even your home in the where you are sitting now or what you are wearing so you can find a huge uh, variety of colors which are actually painted or either dyed on the fabrics which are used for multiple purposes whether it is for clothing or its curtains or some bed sheets or whatever so uh, this is uh, the final step in uh, Mm, the fabric manufacturing is actually the dyeing or printing of the fabric material. First, we will discuss about the dyeing in which application of dyes or pigments is uh, uh, apply is carried out on the fabric materials. And the main goal of this dyeing is to achieve some different colors. And it totally depends on uh, actually for application what kind of fabric we are using and what kind of fab fabric we are preparing or manufacturing and then the dye is actually decided based on the material <coughs> and in mostly the dyeing process only one color is uh, is applied to the whole uh, uh, product or whole the fabric so one fabric will contain just only one uh, color but in case we want some uh, different patterns or some different structures on the fabric uh, then uh, the actually the printing process is carried out in and the printing is actually the, uh, the process of applying various type of colors to fabric in a definite pattern or design so uh, depend karta hai ki aapke paas uh, ab kya cheez produce kar rahe hain aur uski application kya hai kuch cheeze aisi hoti hain ki jinke upar aapko uh, simple single color chahiye hota hai for example black blue or brown whatever and किसी प्रोडक्ट uh, में आपको शाइन चाहिए किसी में नहीं शाइन चाहिए सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट उस तरह का उसको जो है वो डाई किया जाता है इसी तरह जब आप फैब्रिक uh, की बात करते हैं स्पेशली क्लोदिंग की बात करते हैं तो देन सम काइंड ऑफ क्लोदिंग यू वांट सम काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न जो कि फैब्रिक के ऊपर आप चाहते हैं सो इन दैट केस डिपेंडिंग कि आपकी अगेन की आपकी एप्लीकेशन क्या है आपके पास कर्टन है आपके पास पहनने वाले कपड़े हैं वेदर दे आर फॉर जेंट्स वेदर दे आर फॉर फीमेल आर वट एवर देर एप्लीकेशन इज सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न आर डिजाइंड फॉर दैट स्पेशल मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूजिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कलर डिफरेंट पैटर्न एंड दे आर एक्चुअली प्रिंटेड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द फैब्रिक एंड आफ्टर द फैब्रिक इज प्रिंटेड विद आवर और विद आवर रिक्वायर्ड और डिजायर डिजाइन दैन दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ फैब्रिक मैनुफैक्चरिंग इज एक्चुअली finished or completed at that time and then it should be inspected for the quality of the design of the material of the color and after the qual uh, quality assurance then this mar uh, that ca uh, product can be actually supplied to the market for its uh, end uh, user utility <coughs> for any industry uh the after the product is manufactured then the most important step is the a uh, good marketing so uh, <coughs> so that you can sell it in a better ways in similarly in textile industry after the fabric is uh, manufactured the next process is uh marketing your product or marketing your fabric and to get some uh, buyers for your product and <coughs> get some definitely uh, profit so 
जिस तरह से मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और जो क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट होती है उसी तरह जो मार्केटिंग है ये बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट होती है ताकि आप लोगों को कन्विंस करना और कंपनी को कन्विंस करना दैट दे यूज़ देयर प्रोडक्ट्स इट्स अ वेरी टफ आसो दे इसके लिए बहुत अच्छी मार्केटिंग की जरूरत होती है एंड दैट एक्चुअली डिसाइड्स कि आपकी कंपनी जो है वो कितना ग्रो करती है फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव रन अ कंपनी फॉर एनीथिंग वेदर इट्स टेक्सटाइल और अदर एंड यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग सम रियली गुड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट और गुड क्वालिटी स्टफ बट इफ़ यू कैन नाट मार्केट इट इन अ बेटर वे देन यू कैन नाट सेल इट सो The company can never grow without good marketing. So, in uh, coming uh, two slides, we will discuss about some uh, applications of textile industry. So, normally, the application of textile industry can be uh, categorized into two types. First is the conventional textile industry and the technical textile industry. The conventional textile industry mainly deals with the textile profession and clothing. while the technical uh, textile industry is mostly with uh, it deals with the textile for the society needs so we will uh, briefly overview these uh, both types so the <coughs> conventional textile products can be uh, further uh, categorized into two main categories one is for apparel making and the second one is for making textiles for other home uses so uh, any uh, type of fabric uh, which is used for clothing is uh, known as apparel and uh, there are different uh, kind and types of apparel uh, which are being fabricated in the textile industries so depending on uh, the weather and the area where we are living and also the different there are societies so there are different kinds of apparel uh, are used and uh, some common examples of the apparels which are uh, uh, used by commonly uh, worldwide are some coats um, some normal dresses which includes like shirts or pants um, like long shirts या जैसे हम शलवार कमीज जो पहनते हैं दैट काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल आल्सो कम्स अंदर दैट वन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लेगिंग्स वेद दैट टाइट्स और सम गाउन्स हेड गेयर सम स्कॉफ सम जैकेट्स सिमिलरली देर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नेक वेयर सम निटेड और वोवन ग्लव्स यूज इन विंटर similarly we have many robes uh, and shawls and there are uh, other uh, materials as well beside these which have been uh, used in our daily life so all uh, uh, of these kind of materials so they come under the first category of the conventional textile which is uh, called as apparel making the second category of the conventional uh, textile products uh, is uh, the home textiles so home textiles are different uh, from the apparel making as uh, these are uh, these are the fabrics which are used for several household purposes and not for clothing and the main purpose of uh, these home textile is to give some different uh, functional and aesthetic properties and mainly which they are aiming to provide comfort or mental relaxation to the people living in the room or the houses so there there are uh, uh, many types of uh, uh, home textile uh, products which are fabricated in textile industry and some the most common of uh, those product which we used in our daily life include uh, sheets and pillow uh, covers or pillow cases uh, blankets towels some table cloth and rugs so these are the most uh, commonly used home textile which we uh, use in our daily life for the fab fabrication of uh, the home textile so 
depending uh, what kind of material we are using both natural and man-made fibers can be used and depending on the properties for example uh, the uh, when we talk about the bed sheet so there are multiple kind of bed sheet they can be uh, made of uh, cotton for the summers or they can be made of silk and there are different other uh, man-made fibers uh, which are used for making the sheets so overall the nature of fiber which is being used for these home textiles is uh, mainly decided uh, on the what kind of application we are going to have and in what kind of uh, weather or the what kind of country uh, uh, they will be used in so they, these are the factors which actually uh, decide the nature of the fiber used for the manufacturing of the home textile products so the second type of textile products are uh, <coughs> studied under the technical textiles so in comparison to the conventional textiles the technical textiles are basically produced for the uh, specific functional properties and not for uh, not they are and they are not aimed for the decorative purposes but they have their own functional properties and uh, the technical textiles are based on their area of use and application so they are uh, can they can be studied under 12 different categories so textile uh, products which are uh, fabricated for their use in agriculture and aquaculture they are studied under the category of agrotech while uh, built Bill tech involves all those uh, industrial products or textile products which have their application in building or construction. The textile products which are used for footwear, uh, they have application in certain clothing other than the uh, clothing which is come under the conventional clothing. So the protective cloth clothing for example which is used for industries and uh, for example from protective uh, clothing so <clears throat> those uh, come under the category of cloth tech then the uh, textile products for their use in civil engineering or the geotextiles are studied under the category of geotech and all the household textiles other than the conventional textiles uh, they are uh, studied under the home tech technical textiles then there is another uh, type of uh, technical textile which is known as indo textile which uh, involves the textile products uh, fabricated for their use in different industrial application besides we have many uh, textile product uh, which have their uses in the medical and hygiene so all of those uh, textile products uh, which are being used in the medical and the hygiene facilities so they uh, are studied under the category of meditech and there are some uh, specific textile products uh, which are fabricated for the application in different environmental friendly application and they, and they, ha uh, they have different other environmentally environment friendly uses so all those environment friendly products they come under the category of ecotech and then we have pack tech uh, the pack tech is the category of technical textiles uh, which uh, involves the textile uh, products which are specifically fabricated for the purpose of packaging then there are uh, a, a very important category of technical textile known as uh, protech which uh, produce different uh, textile materials uh, for the protection and the other uh, uh, like protective equipment which can be used for different application in for example in labs in industries in like mm, protective suit for other applications and uh, the eleventh category of the technical textile is the sport tech, and sport tech involves all the uh, textile products or the fabrics which are being used in 
sports and leisure so they all come under the category of uh, sport tech and we have the last uh, uh, technical uh, type of technical textile which have applications in the automobile so all of those textile products which are being uh, fabricated for the use in automobiles they come under the category of mobile tech so these are the 12 uh, main categories of the technical textiles which uh, have uh, which involves many products for uh, the, their respective uh, uh, <coughs> areas So when we uh, talk about the textile uh, products which are used for different technical purposes so <clears throat> we know that the knitted fabrics are uh, mostly not very uh, strong and they have less stable structure. So uh, most of the fabrics which are used for technical pur pur purposes are mostly woven or non-woven and the share of the knitted fabrics in the industrial application is uh, almost negligible and uh, if uh, as we can see in this uh, pie chart around 2% uh, of the industrial uh, uh, products are, uh, or the tech, uh, textile products are knitted for industrial application were 38% of the textile materials used in industry are non-woven and mostly 60% of the uh, textile products used for industrial application are woven and uh, the choice of uh, fabric, uh, fiber is uh, largely dependent on the area of application where we are going to use it and depending on the final use or final application different kind of fiber, fibers including natural man-made or the high performance fibers, fibers can be employed during the fabrication process. Numerous applications of the textile products uh, in the ind uh, in the industries and other technical applications, and some of the examples are enlisted here uh, for the use of uh, fabric in different technical applications. So uh, these are the nets, uh, ropes, conveyor belts, shades, hoses, uh, some reinforcement for composites. Uh, the backing of uh, back uh, side of the carpets, some water filters and air filters, different kind of seals, gaskets, and bandages, uh, in diapers, tea bags, seat belts, uh, different electromagnetic shieldings, surgical gowns. Mm, there are some application for noise absorption and flags and there are different products for ballistic protection the protective suits uh, <clears throat> for the bomb disposable squad and there are different life rafts and the sleeping bag liners that involve different uh, fabric materials of, and also some printed circuit boards so these are all uh, examples of uh, some of the textile fabric which uh, have their different technical uses and there are so many other applications uh, that involve the textile fabrics <coughs> so <coughs> here are the reference materials uh, which I have used for preparation of this lecture so if you want to understand something in detail or if you have any confusion you may consult uh, these uh, report from HEC or the uh, above mentioned uh, web references and I really hope that uh, it, it will <coughs> uh, help you in better understanding uh, thank you so much that's all for today and this uh, uh, this was the last uh, lecture of the uh, related to textile industry and if you have uh, any question uh, related uh, with the textile industry specifically for this lecture or the first three lectures so you are really free to ask and thank you so much Allah Hafiz